Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship Your holy name. I worship Your holy name. So take me. To the secret place where only you and I we have communion. So take me, so take me to the secret place where only you and I we have communion. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just bless your name, Lord. Adonai, we worship you, we glorify your name. Blessed be God. Thank you and thank you and thank you again for what you did last week, O God. For the overflowing grace, O God, you poured upon us. Mighty God, we worship you, we bless your name. This morning, prove yourself again and glorify yourself, O God, for your people. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the people say, Amen. And welcome to this telecast. Uh, today and I trust the Lord that it's going to be a blessing to you. Just uh, hold on to the end of the telecast. If you connected already, don't be don't be in a hurry to switch to other channel. I cherish your time and I cherish and I appreciate you. And I trust the Lord that the same gift of God that I poured upon my life, Kasinama. There's I I feel I feel this thing. There's somebody you you you. I don't know whether I worship me. I'm going to watch me later. I have there's a migraine. Keep coming or you keep coming. Most times the headache was so strong and it gets through to your back, like your back here. Uh, Father, I rebuke that headache pain right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh, yes, there's healing now. I declare healing upon that body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. So I cherish your timing, your time and um, I'm ho uh, hooking on to Ross life as we continue on the revelation of what the Lord has given to us even this very month. And the Lord Himself we bring you a sure word that you will know this is of God. And Bible says, and the word of God tried Joseph. And so today I'll be looking on a message titled The Boundless Grace of God. The Boundless Grace of God. The grace of God have no limit when we key into his grace. When we give our life to Christ, when we depend on God, he has no limit. Men could limit you, but not God. When people say, sky is my limit, to God, sky is not your limit. Heaven is your limit. And so we'll be looking at the boundless grace of God. The grace of God passes all things that you think you've acquired before. Grace, the grace of God is our in our life. It's not just what we buy with money. It's price. We can't pay for it. This grace comes through God's from my father giving us that all we have now i want to speak uh, uh on this topic deeply uh, today so just just follow me uh, closely as we look into hebrews chapter 4 hebrews chapter 4 verse 15. he said for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities we have an high priest jesus christ the righteous you, if you are sick, you can touch him. If you are poor, you can touch him. Jesus Christ does not discriminate whether black or white or any gender at all. He said, come unto me, all you that labor, and I have a ladding, and I will give you rest. He didn't put specifically whether you are black or white or green, whatever color you may call yourself. Whether you are toy or short, whether you are Indian, African, or uh, uh, Mexican, or, uh, or European. No. Oh, he said, come unto me, all you that labor, and have a ladding. And so Jesus Christ is a, is a righteous God that he have given all this promise. He said, Jesus, the Son of God, have let us hold fast with our confession. What is the confession? That Jesus Christ died and rose up against on the third day. Let no one change that from you. No matter the pressure, let them know that Jesus Christ died and rose up against on the third day. Let hold on to that confession. That confession guarantees all safety, guarantees all peace, guarantees everything we need. As a matter of fact, that is the beginning of a miracle. How will you confess somebody who don't believe? You must believe. You say, how would they hear except there's a preacher? How can a preacher go and say they be sent? 
So Jesus Christ, our righteous, that we need to profess, uh, confess that. In verse 15, say, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with a feeling of infirmity, for infirmity, but was in all point tempted like as we are, yet without sin. And look at what he said. I love what he said in verse 16. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Mm, look at it. He said, Let us therefore come boldly, approach his throne with boldness. Don't allow the accusers of the brethren to, to say, Well, you cannot, you cannot assess it. No. Let us come boldly unto the throne of grace. Uh oh. If you are not coming there based on your righteousness, no. You are not coming there because you've finished the Bible back and forth 20 times. No. You are not coming to, to this throne because you fasted for seven days, no food. No. You are not coming to this throne because you are a prayer warrior. No. You are not coming to this throne because you are intellectual. You can speak. You can quote Greek word and Latin word. No. He said, come boldly. Come boldly. Without no guilt. Unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So grace is for help. So how to find grace and help in time of need. Anyone that gotten grace, that contacted that grace, can even help anyone, other person. It's like you've recharged your battery so you can power other, 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 other light. You and I are the light of the world. You must shine all over. So this bandless grace of God I'm speaking to you today, you got to know that it is not what you buy with your money. You cannot buy with your money. And throughout the pages of the Bible, you could see, you could see numerous people that this grace, they contended this grace. Character of people who live their life, exemplary life, and they could see that God was with them, with guidance. And we need to understand this depth and the magnitude of God's grace upon our life. For example, we're going to look at the life of Moses. Moses could have died, but the grace of God sustained him. You remember where during the period of time that Moses were born, and they make a decree that every male child must be kept born by the Jewish, by the Israelite. And somehow Moses God had frustrated it when they couldn't hide ahead uh, Moses for too long anymore because they were here. They took Moses to the river bank and pushed him there. And God had frustrated it that the daughter of Pharaoh came to take a bath. In those days, when you go to swimming pool, when you go to the beach to take your bath, it's for pleasure, it's for freedom. And they saw the baby, and the baby was crying. He went there, and the sister came and said, Look, let me look for who will take care of the baby because it's still tender. It was the grace and the mercy of God. The boundless grace of God was upon Moses since he was born. So Moses was raised in the palace. Yet he was the one that God sent also to, to deliver the children of Israel. Moses was not qualified, but somehow God qualified him. When Moses, after 40 years, Moses couldn't take it anymore. He saw it within himself. He didn't allow the mentality of the palace to enter his head. He still recognized that this is not where I belong. Why are they dealing with my people this way? And they committed a murder. I killed one of the, the Egyptians because they are, they are, they are, they are dealing with the, with, the, with the Israelite. And because of that, he became a fugitive. He ran away. But the boundless grace followed him to wherever he went. He went there and when he was there taking care of Jethro, Jethro uh, 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 flaws, God graciously followed him. Hear this. Anyone that carries God's grace and mercy, no matter how it is, he must, God will follow him until he fulfills his destiny. God will not just leave him alone at the middle of the road. God does not abandon project. He will make sure that person fulfills that prophetic grace. And so Moses was there. After that, he had an encounter with God. And God said, you need to go back to Egypt. Say, how can I go back to Egypt? Why they are looking for me? How, how, how am I going to speak to them? He said, I'm going to show you a sign. And the bush, he saw the bush, literally was born. And God began to speak to him. When he decided to listen to God, he said, now who will I tell Pharaoh? Because Pharaoh will kill me. He said, tell Pharaoh. That was the first time God introduced the name as a sentence to, to an individual. He said, tell Moses, I am that I am. A sentence as a name. 
God have never revealed anything to anybody before. Tell him, I am that I am. I've seen you. Child of God, anyone that, that God wants to use, no matter how the devil wants to try to make sure they can destroy him, God can still use him. Growing up as a little child, I started dancing breakdance, moving from, from one place to the other, from one community to the other, dancing breakdance. People thought I would not even finish my, my grade 12, what we call secondary school level. And everybody began to say, well, this one is gone, this one is gone, this one is gone. But the grace and mercy of God that without boundaries found me. Not just uh, finishing my, my secondary school, I went to university. Got married, become a pastor. That's the grace I'm talking about. I don't know what the devil is speaking about to you about. Are you into drugs? Are you a prostitute? Are you, have you gone wayward? And you look and see there's no hope. You need to come back because there's still hope for you. The grace is still there. Let no one judge you because you are born of God. What about Jonah in the Bible? Jonah, God gave Jonah an assignment. And Jonah was arguing, I don't want to go to Nineveh. I don't know why I don't want to go to Nineveh. Probably because of people in Nineveh, they are wicked people. He said, I don't want to go to Nineveh. And God said, you must have to go. He deceived God. And he entered another ship going to Tarshish. He was not going to Nineveh. He entered another one going to Tarshish. And because of him, there's a judgment in the ship. And the ship, uh, 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 the turbulence came and he fell on the sea. The fish swallowed him and took him straight to Nineveh. You may look as if you miss your direction in life. But Jehovah our God will send someone that will take you to the location you need to be. You may look as if, where am I? Is it the place God ordained me to be? Hold on. Just follow God's uh, God process. Just follow his walking. He will take you to that place by himself. It does not matter. You don't, I don't know how you're going to get there, but he will surely take you there. When Joseph was in the pit, his brother, his own brothers, her brothers, they throw him in the pit. They say, no, we're going to kill him. Joseph thought that it's all over for me. How am I going to get out of this, uh, out, out this pit? He never knew that God had a plan for him. The plan and the purpose of God concerning your life, it will not fall. It must have to be fulfilled. And God began to work some mathematics on his behalf. When they, 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 they threw him there and they conspired that let tell her father that a beer uh, 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 devoured him and this is this is clothes of, of many colors god brought an egyptian businessman they sold him to the egyptian businessman when egyptian businessman got to, uh, to, 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 to to egypt they sold him to pharaoh he said no this man must stay in the palace why they in the parlor? The third was he have arrived. He was so well. Thank God I brought. You see, most times when God want to take you to, to your destination, He takes you to merry go round at times. Like what He spoke to the children of Israel. He said, uh, say, Joshua say, Let them go around this Jericho seven times, seven days. Ah, why can't God just say, uh, You see, you can't fat tongue goes out. Why can't God just say, uh, Joshua, just we push you walk to the, to, to, to the Jericho? He will just open for you or just shut once. He said, No, they must go around seven times. Only God knows how big that Jericho war was. He said, on the seventh time, just shout, and the war will fall. Why did God have to ask them to go through that for seven times? Are you saying God has no power to just blast the, 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 the shofar and the, the, the war fall? Yes, he has the power. But God was want to teach them some principle of, of who God is. Most times when, when, when it's, uh, it's some, some difficulty, it's God is teaching us for us to learn so that when we come out of it, we can have an experience what to say to people. Hallelujah. Today when I hear uh, disco music, I, I, don't, I don't get moved because I know where I was coming from. When you see men and women who are preaching on healing, probably they've been, they've been hit with sickness before. When you see people who are who are who have this passion for fruit of the womb, probably they've seen other than them several suffer before of that. There's a delay on, on, the, on their marriage for getting babies, or they knew somebody. You're gonna say, Oh Lord, direct me to where you want me to be. So we saw the prodigal son as well. The prodigal son, it look as if he have missed it. And no, no way for him again. To the point he was feeding the swine. 
And when they came, he said it came to his mind. He said, how many higher servants did my father have? Yet, I am eating with the swine, with the pig. He said, I better return back home. This is a boy who blow every money that the father have given to him. But the father said, let him come back. He will have mercy. And he came back. And the mercy of God showed up for him. May the same mercy show up for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter how far you've gone, you can say turn back. It's better to turn back in your journey when you don't, that you don't have a destination. Because no matter how well you are, where you're going to, if you're not going to the right direction, you can travel for days, you may not get to your de destination. I can, I can fly going to, going to, for example, going to uh, a Sydney. And he took off and he started heading to, to Germany. He will get to Germany and see it's where Germany's clothes are here. He will get to Germany, but you know that it's not Sydney. He will see her to come back and will move back to Sydney. The Lord is taken to the place of rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, let me show you another scripture from the book of Psalms, Psalm 34. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Psalm 34, verse 17. It said, The righteous cried, and the Lord hear it, and deliver him out of all their troubles. Not one, all their troubles. Now, hear this now. The Lord is near unto them that are of broken heart and saved and, 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 and saved, such as be of contrary spirit. Many are the affliction of the righteous. Look at verse, that's verse, verse, uh, verse 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. The Lord delivered them out of them all. He delivered them. In verse 20, very profound. He said, he keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Talking about Jesus. When, they, when Jesus Christ was hung on the, on the cross of Calvary, in, those, in the Jewish tradition, when they, when they, when they crucify people, he said they would come in the evening to check. If they see breathing, they would just come and break their leg. Break their leg, and that's the ending. But when they got to Jesus, they pierced him, and they said the, 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 the man is gone. So they couldn't break his leg. That is prophetic. You will not lose anything this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter the, the terror that the devil is flitting on you, you will not lose anything in the mighty name of Jesus. We need to understand that Jesus Christ has finished everything for us. In the cross of Calvary, he lifted up his eyes to heaven. He said, it is finished. And the Bible says, he gave up the ghost. Anything that Jesus has finished cannot finish you. He has finished sickness. He has finished poverty. He has finished hunger. So he cannot finish you. He said, it is finished. Anything is finished, believe me, it is finished. God knows that today will be a day that you will listen to the telecast and be free from that bondage. Are you believing God for anything? The Lord himself will be your supplier. But before I round up, I want you to, to, to actually surrender your life to Jesus if you don't know Jesus. I want to read, don't allow anybody to accuse you, don't allow anybody to judge you. Jesus Christ is the one that died for us. First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. Mm. It says, My little children, this thing have I written unto thee, that ye see not. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Advocate is not just a lawyer. No. In Latin, what advocate means ad them voce, voce. Advocate means person who can stand and speak on your behalf. If you don't know Jesus, the Lord is speaking on your behalf. Bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, I need you. Have mercy upon me. I am a sinner that need repentance. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for saving me. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I thank you for these people who have given their life to Christ. Father, uh, fame that word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make them a brand new man and a brand new woman. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now that you give your life to Christ, please write to us. We're going to send you some material to be a blessing to you. Now quickly, I want to take an offering. If you watch us to this 
when please don't don't log off partake in this offering activities as well it's part of the uh, uh the, the meeting our banking is going to display on the screen please take advantage of those account there are two ways to give uh through the bank uh, transfer or deposit or you could give through scan uh, the QR code that you could scan it go to our website also you can drop it or if you are watching us live either right at, under it under under the description you're going to see uh, a thank you you're going to see a dollar sign click it it open or you're going to guide you how you're going to drop your offering if you're watching us on facebook as well you can as well give us a star or give father that bless the offering of your people in the name of jesus christ let it be a, a day of remember remarkable day for them in the name of jesus blessed be god in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Before we sign up, know that we are morning glory still on morning glory. So every Saturday of the year is morning glory. Morning glory of the morning. Morning glory. We are trusting the Lord to start another program on Friday called the Pentecost. You will not miss your direction this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget we still have books in Amazon and other social media platforms. Take advantage of those, those books that's already in promotion and buy 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 for your friend and begin to read may the lord bless you may the lord keep you please do share the telecast to your loved ones even to your enemy let let them be blessed as well in the mighty name of jesus christ don't forget this saturday is morning glory god bless you and as we are going to say to you cha -cha, god bless you. wow thank you jesus for another beautiful time that we had in church today listening to the messages of god i want you to follow us on all our social media platform on facebook on twitter on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also listen to our other messages from our Father and the Lord and the messages that God has used me to preach. I want you to know that these messages will bless you and your life will never remain the same again. Every Saturday also we have prophetic and profound prayers called morning glory. It's always a beautiful time for you to enjoy your weekend praying and seeking the face of God for the new week. Until we come your way again next time, I want you to continue to stay in His presence and let His glory never depart from you.